Hello and welcome to today's video. This week we are going to restore a My Little Pony Liketty split which was made in 1984 by Hasbro. This pony has some damage to the eyes, it's quite dirty and it looks like the head was re-glued at some point. The symbols have faded a little as well and it seems like the hair used to be a lot more pink. So today we are going to start by cleaning the pony with soap and some hydrogen peroxide and we are also going to recolor the hair. I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. As usual, I'm going to start with some hot water and I'm also going to use washing up liquid. You will see that the head of this pony has been re-glued using something that is not the factory glue and we will need to remove it to move on with the project. So let's start with the soak and some weighting. The hot water has one main benefit, it makes the vinyl more flexible, so it's easier to, even though it doesn't show it here, separate the head from the body. But I'm also going to need to use a tool, in this case my exacto knife, because I don't want to accidentally rip the plastic by pulling too hard. The next step will be to remove the tail. And now that that's off, I'm going to clean the pony with the washing up liquid. Now it's time to deal with some of these marks and I'm going to use my loyal acetone because it's perfect for these kind of marks and also for the glue that we need to remove from the neck. For the people that commented um, that I leave my acetone bottle open, that is correct <laughs> and is not recommended. However, I do work in a very um, well ventilated place and I don't leave the cap off for too long. If you're going to do a project that requires you to use a lot of acetone, then make sure it's ventilated and or wear a mask because acetone can be really, really bad for your lungs. One thing acetone is good for <laughs> is removing glue. It depends on the glue, of course, but usually the ones I have encountered, they break down with acetone. also going to again use my exacto knife because some of this glue is very thick. It can be removed with acetone, it will just take a lot longer. And it's time for the peroxide treatment. And one very important note about this, because I've also read a few comments referencing it, what I use is hydrogen peroxide, which is different from benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl is used mostly in doll restoration and it's one of the components of acne cream so that's something that people would use. The problem is that although this works for dolls it doesn't work for ponies because ponies have a different composition of the vinyl and it can actually create these big bleached areas that keep growing in time and can even be contagious. So you have to be very very careful and always use hydrogen peroxide which is also called sometimes hair salon cream. Although I knew that this pony's hair was going to be pink, I didn't imagine it to be this pink. So the first thing I want to do before recoloring is untangling this mess. And I'm going to be using this particular fabric softener that I really like because it's cruelty free, meaning it wasn't tested on animals. 
And as usual, I will start by combing the tips. to use a red dye. However, I made a mistake here. <laughs> While the fuchsia color is correct because it's for synthetic uh, materials, the yellow one is not. <laughs> so it will take me a few attempts, <laughs> as you will see. For my first experiment, <laughs> I made a lot of the pink and a little bit of the yellow, and the result was a bit darker than I expected. I used one of my old, very rusty testing tails <laughs> to see the color. It looks very dark at first, and then when you dry it with the paper tissue, it gets a little more realistic and a little nicer. But it's also not the color we're looking for. And this is where I realized that I was using the wrong dye. <laughs> so if you're going to do this, look for the one that says for synthetics but i still think it should give some result <laughs> so we're going to give it a try it seems to be taking so i'll prepare a batch with more yellow and less pink I was getting closer so the last thing I did was add some extra yellow on top to make it a bit uh, more intense. And I was quite happy with this result so now it's time to do the rest of the hair. I'm using silicone mats here so I protect the table and I'm also adding tissue paper on top so it absorbs the water. I did the roots first using a brush so I don't stain the pony. I also wanted to do a quick test and see what happened if I soaked the hair. And I'm quite happy with this result, especially the salt part. So let's do the rest of the main. Some more retouches to make sure the color is even. Then do the same for the tail. After a comb and a soak in hot water, it is now time to add the yellow. I 
I was going to use the brush, but I think soaking is a much more effective way to get the color in. And some final retouches again with the roots. And another good soak to make sure the color won't come off later. So now that the hair is ready, it's time to move on to the cutie mark. And I'm just going to do a few little retouches just because this ice cream is uh, broken. I also want to fill in some of this chipped paint in the eye, just a little with black. It's time to put the pony back together, <laughs> so I'm going to remove the metal washer because I want to avoid any future rust. I'm going to replace it with some cable ties. This process is a bit tedious, a bit difficult, but if you have the right tools, it is doable. <laughs> Don't lose hope, keep trying. And I suggest you use the tool as a lever, if that makes sense, and that will help open the washer. Also, you don't need to remove the whole thing, you just need to create an opening big enough to take the hair out. was an idea sent to me by Mindheart Francois to leave a little message inside the pony so whoever gets this pony in the future will be able to read it. It's nothing impressive, don't worry. <laughs> However, it won't be that easy because I'm going to seal the head again.
is the result of our ligand split. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you thought, if you have any suggestions or any comments. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.